Mountain Church. Praise God. We welcome you to the Back to Basics Online Church. We give praise and glory and honor to God Almighty. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We're still in the land of the living. Praise God. You may say, well, Pastor God, why do you keep playing that song over and over again when, we, uh, when the service begins? Because it's the healing song, ladies and gentlemen. It's the healing song. We don't have the rights to it. But we play it and we do not record it because we want to respect the copyright laws. But think about that song. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Who, who is this he that you're talking about? We're talking about Jesus. 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 With his stripes we are healed. Ladies and gentlemen, get that deep down in your spirit, in your sanctified soul, that Jesus Christ is the answer for the world today. Above him there is no other. Get Jesus down in your heart. Worship him. Worship him from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same is the name of the Lord to be praised. I love you, Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord. You heard my cry. You pitied every groan. Long as I live when troubles rise, I'll hasten to your throne. Do you remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you were down, you were beaten, you were defeated, you were sick, you didn't think you would get healed? Remember when they were about to kick you out of your apartment? You lost your job. Your friends left you. Your family deserted you. Ladies and gentlemen, let us not forget who brought us up and who brought us out. Hallelujah. We worship Jesus Christ. We're not ashamed to worship the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Come on, uh, Melanie Bias, and give us a greeting. Hey, good morning, Pastor. Good morning, church. I hope everybody is safe and well today. Praise God, and God bless you. God bless you and your family. Thank you. Praise Thank God. You. Come on, come on, Ryan Struggler, and give us a greeting. Uh, good morning, Pastor. Good morning, church. How's everybody doing today? Hey, praise God. We're blessed, man. We're blessed. Oh, amen to that. We're all blessed. That's, that's for sure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank God for you and Tara and Jenna and... Praise God. Thank you. You're our chief scout. Thank you for scouting out some land for us this week. Hallelujah. We're looking over and see what God's going to do. Thank you, man. We appreciate you, Ryan. We appreciate you, okay? Oh, appreciate it, Pastor Carter, but, you know, it's all for the Lord, and, uh, you know, it's all for him. So I, that's what I'm That's what we're all here for. All right. You got that right, buddy. You got that right. Praise God. Hey, Waynette, my niece Waynette, come on and say hello to us. Hallelujah. Good morning, Uncle. Good morning, church family. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. You're at the right place at the right time, lady. Okay, let God bless you today, all righty? Absolutely. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to ask, um, we're going to ask uh, my precious wife, Jackie Carter, to read the scripture for us today. The scripture is Psalm 57. And then after Jackie reads the scripture, we're going to ask Pastor Sam Gale to lead us in prayer. Let's, let's do that. Hey, Jackie, good morning again. Good morning. And give me a minute to pull it up. That's Psalm 57. Yes, ma'am. 57. 5, 7. I'm sorry. What is it? 5, 7. Psalm 5, 7. Yes. Psalm number five and the seventh verse. No, no, Psalm fifty seven. Psalm fifty seven. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
Take your time. Take your time. We're waiting. Mm-hmm. Okay, Psalm 57. Yes, ma'am. Have mercy on me, my God. Have mercy on me. For in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings under the disaster, until the disaster has passed. I cry out to God who vindicates me. He sends from heaven and saves me, rebuking those who hotly pursue me. God sends forth his love and his faithfulness. I am in, I am forced, I'm sorry, I am in the midst of lions. I am forced to dwell among ravenous beasts, men whose teeth are spears and sparrows, whose tongues are sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. They spread a net for my feet. I was bowed down in distress. They dug a pit in my path. But they have not fallen into it. But they have fallen into it themselves. My heart, O God, is steadfast. I will sing and make music. Awake! my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. God's Mm -hmm. blessings upon the reading, the reader, the hearers, and more importantly, the doers of his word. Amen, amen, amen. Pastor Sam Gale is going to lead us in prayer. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. God, we come this morning giving your name the praise, the honor, and glory. We come thanking you for all the blessings that you bestowed upon us. We ask now, and even in these turmoil times, God, that we continue to look to you, God, that your word will lead us and guide us and be our rubric. We thank you right now for this church, God. We thank you for all those who are here. We thank you for the word that will come forth. Now, God, bless us as we hear from you, God, that we would be those who would say yes to your will and yes to your way. We would obey you, God, and we would also consecrate ourselves that we would do according to your word. So we bless you now, God, even in the midst of this. Give the pastor, God, the words to say, God, that will stir us up, that we would seek you even the more. We bless you for it. We praise your name this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God, praise God. Good morning once again, and everyone who's listening to the recording, we thank God for you. Thank God for those of you who are with us live today. Jackie Carter read the scriptures. Praise God. I thank God for Jackie Carter. She's a wonderful, not only wonderful life, but wife, life, yes, too. Life, wife, and lady. Praise God. And then Pastor Sam Gale read the, uh, pray, prayed the prayer. You know, when I met Pastor Sam Gale in Wilmington, Delaware, he's the assistant pastor at the Living Water Ministries, helping Dr. Gene Bratton and them to do great works. Pastor Sam came in, he and his wife, and Pastor Sam uh, came in, and he, he looked, the first thing he did, he stood in the doorway, he looked around, and he scoped out the church. You know, I like that, Sam, yeah, I like that. I like that when a, when a scout can go and scope out the territory. And, you know, it's like, it's like Sam Gale came in the church and said, hmm, what demons do I have to cast out before we enter into this worship? I mean, that's, that's that you need a Pastor Sam Gale in your church, in your, on your job, in your community. You need someone who's alert, 
who's spiritually alert and who can look around and who can sniff the atmosphere like a general. Mm, I smell sulfur in the air. I smell gunpowder and sulfur in the air. We're in spiritual warfare. And so, Dr. Gene, you're blessed. And Living Water Minister, you're blessed. Mrs. Gale, you're blessed. Sam Gale, you're blessed. Because Sam Gale, he knows how to sniff out those demons. And then once he recognizes them, he casts those demons out so that they can have church. We can have church. Now, we can have church. You all cast out those demons. Amen. Anything coming to hinder this ministry or your ministry or your family, be like Sam Gale. Look around. Take a good look around. Hmm. I see anybody here looking depressed. Anybody here looking suspicious? Anybody here looking mean? Anybody looking defeated and overwhelmed? Hmm. Then put on that whole armor of God. Put on that whole armor of God and get to work. Praise God. Prayer changes things. Thank you, Sam Gale. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, Pastor Sam, I done, I done said a lot about you, but we give God the glory so you keep on walking the walk. Okay, Pastor Sam? Praise God. We're in agreement. He is worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hey, we greet you once again, everybody. And we're going to go right into our message today. God's got a powerful message. I thank God for the anointing. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I thank God for his love for every one of us. You're at the right station at the right time today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be talking about this message, when my heart is overwhelmed, when my heart is overwhelmed. Jackie Carter read Psalm 57, and um, I want to, I'll start off with Psalm 61, verse 2. Psalm 61, verse 2 says, from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. What a powerful scripture. What a powerful scripture. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, your burdens beat you down so much that you can't even run to the rock. Somebody's got to take you there. Oh, just get me uh, to the church. Just get me to the prayer meeting. Just get me there. Just get me to my prayer room. Just get me uh, uh, to help me to get down on my knees. And sometimes Satan hits so, so hard, you can't get to the spot where you want to be. But hallelujah, Jesus sits, sits on the throne in our hearts, in the person of the Holy Ghost. And he's right there. Hallelujah. He neither slumbers nor does he sleep. I believe I'm talking to somebody. Somebody's been up all night wrestling with an issue. I believe I'm talking to somebody. The Holy Ghost knows what your problem is. He knows the solution. He knows the answer. And so he had his servant David write hundreds of years ago, when my heart is overwhelmed, Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Don't be ashamed, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't no shame in my game. If you're overwhelmed, you call somebody to lead you to the rock. You call Sam Gale. You call Gene Bratton. You call Ryan Trogler. You call Melanie Bias. You call Jackie Carter. You call Florence Gaffney. You call Waynette Cox. You call somebody. Hey, hey, my heart is overwhelmed. My heart is overwhelmed. I'm hurting. I'm grieving. I'm hurting. I'm in pain. My heart is overwhelmed. Well, I need somebody to pray for me. And, and, and that's the way we roll, ladies and gentlemen. No man is an island, the pastor John Dunn wrote in the year 1660. In the year 1660, the pastor John Dunn from London, England wrote, No man is an island entire of itself. He said, Europe is part of the main. Europe is part of the main. England and France are all connected together. There might be an English channel separating Europe from England, but we're all hooked together. And then John Donne says, don't sin for whom the bell tolls when the bell rings. 
when back in those days, whenever somebody died and their funeral procession was taking place, they rang the bell in the church. They rang the bell, and everybody would run out and say, who died? Who, whose funeral is it? John Dunn said, don't run to see for whom the bell tolls. It's ringing for you. Woo! That lets us know, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> when that bell is ringing, it's not ringing for uh, 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 the man in London or the man in Paris or the man in Atlanta or the man or the woman in Chicago or the woman in Philly. Whenever that bell rings, when that hearse is leaving, when that funeral procession is taking place, it's ringing for you and me. For we're here for an appointed time, and, and, and every one of us has to die. So live uh, while you can and do what God has put you on this planet to do. Don't be so quick to read the obituary and see who's passed. Uh, I know there are people who read the obituary to see if they're still living. Oh, I don't see my name on the obituary, so I must be alive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're all in this thing together. When one hurts, we hurt. So don't send. Don't send out a messenger. Who are they ringing the bell for today? It's ringing for you, and it's ringing for me. We're only here for an appointed time. We're, we're on assignment. And so do your assignment. Do it well. Sam Gale is on assignment at, at Living Water Ministry. When Sam Gale walks into the church, Sam Gale, Gale looks around. He scopes the place out. Any strange-looking folks in here? Anybody looking to do evil to my pastor? Anybody who wants to hurt some of these saints? And Sam Gale comes in. He's already got the full armor of God on. Sam Gale is the last person you want to mess with at, at, at Living Water Church. God's got warriors. God's got his people dressed up, combat ready. We, we can do spiritual warfare, and if we have to, we do physical warfare. We protect one another. And if anyone comes into your house, yes, you've got the full arm around. On, but I dare you to break into Florence Gaffney's house. Florence Gaffney's such a meek lady. She lives up in Coatesville, Pennsylvania. She's meek. She's humble. But I dare you to break into her house. Florence Gaffney would got more firepower in her in her house. You'll think a whole battalion is firing at you. Come on, somebody. Give God the Amen. praise. I dare you All to right. roll up on my niece Waynette Cox. My niece Waynette, right. Waynette Cox. She's so meek, she's so humble, and she cries and she's so she's so sensitive to other people's <laughs> needs. But you roll on she's got military experience. She got military right. experience. And and, and you, right. you, I dare you to roll up on her unannounced, break right. into her house. She's got buku firepower, buku firepower. <laughs> You'll think you're back in dead, desert storm if you mess with her. You know, God's people, we are ready, ladies and gentlemen. We are spiritually ready. And there are times Amen. we've got to be combat ready. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I remember uh, in the old days, my mama would say, I'll smack the taste out of your mouth. She was combat Amen. ready. Amen. 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 She, look Amen. At, she had to be combat ready. Raising seven kids, hard-headed kids. I mean, hard-headed <laughs> kids of whom I had the hardest head. I'll smack that taste out of your mouth. You look at me like that again. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and that's the way Sam Gale walks into living water. Hmm. Hmm. Any demons in here want to interrupt this service? Hmm. 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 I'm hmm. going to cash you out in the name of Jesus. And that's the way we roll. That's the way we roll Amen. in our homes. On our job. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we are the meek. The meek shall inherit the earth. Amen. Being a meek Amen. person does not mean we are pushovers. You don't uh, roll over us like we're yeah. pushovers. We've got the Holy Ghost on the inside of us. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hey, somebody. Yeah. David said, yeah. when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher yeah. than I. David said, when sickness comes against my body, lead me to the rock that's higher than I. I know someone higher than I. He's greater than this coronavirus. I know somebody yeah. higher than I. He's greater than this cancer. I know somebody 
higher than that, who's greater than arthritis. Come on, somebody. I know somebody who's greater than this migraine headache. I know somebody who's greater than what's happening in my stomach. I know somebody who's greater than the unemployment line. I know somebody who's greater than what the neighbors are saying. I know somebody who's greater than those lies they're saying. I know somebody who's greater than than, than, than policemen putting you know, their uh, knees on people's necks. I know somebody who's greater than people burning buildings down and fire bombing businesses. Amen. I know somebody and, 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 and you mess with me, you got to mess with him. That's the way we roll, Gene Bratton. That's the way we roll, Amen. David Carter. That's the way we roll. Amen. And David lets us know when my heart is overwhelmed. Oh, God. When I can't, seem like I can't go anymore. Seem like I can't go any further, Florence Gaffney. Seem like I, I've taken all I can take, and they're still bringing me evil reports. My kids are acting crazy. The world is going crazy. There's a coronavirus going on. Uh, there's social distancing. I've got to wear a mask when I go outside. I've got to wash my hands periodically. Uh, all I hear is fake news. I don't know whether what I'm hearing is real or not. Their leaders are, are lying. We got uh, even one hiding in a bunker in the White House. We've got people press protesting in the streets. You don't know whether a cop is a friendly cop or, or, or an assassin. I've got problems in my family. My kids are acting crazy. My husband's oh, acting God. goofy. My wife's giving me that look. I've got these bills coming in. I've got uh, uh, worries about my neighbors. I haven't seen my neighbor in three days. Is he sick? I don't know what's going on. When my heart is overwhelmed, come on, somebody, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, that is higher than I. Have you ever been overwhelmed? I wonder, is there anybody out here, you've been overwhelmed? Is there anybody who's ever been overwhelmed? Give us a sign in the chat window where you've been overwhelmed and you looked up and you said, oh, I can't go on any further, God. I can't take any more of this. I can't take any more of this. And God will say, like he said to Popeye the sailor man, that's all I can stand. I can stand no more. That's all I can stand. I can stand no more. And when you call on the name of the Lord, when you take your burdens to the Lord, when you get down on knee bone station, when you pray your, call your prayer partner, when you pray in tongues, when you forget about being cute, and being pretty, when your makeup is rolling down your face, when your uh, mascara is rolling down your cheeks, mm. when your tears taste like mascara, when your lipstick is smeared all over your arm, I mean, we're talking about get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down prayer. Oh, God, you're my help. You're the only help I know. There is nobody else who can help me. Lord, you did it before. Do it again. It don't look like I'm coming out of this one, God, but I'm coming to you one more time. I know, God, you got one more miracle in heaven. Can anybody identify with where we're coming from today? I wonder, can I get a witness? Amen, 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 and amen. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 And the God we serve, the God we serve, he's faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. He might say, Sam, Gail, you go to church today and you cast out those demons before your pastor preaches. You look around. Look at you look at those who are rolling their eyes at her. Look at those who are mean spirited. Bind those demons and command that they leave so that the pastor can be free to preach. In the name of Jesus. When it cocks go, go and visit your cousin and, and 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 cast those demons out of her household and get that sickness off her. Walk through yeah. that house with anointed oil and pray the mm-hmm. prayer of faith and get that sickness out of that household. Be bold in the Lord. I got your back. I'll back you up. Mm-hmm. We're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, walking by faith and not yeah. by sight. 
We're talking yes. about walking by faith and not by sight, putting on the whole armor of God, girding our mm -hmm. loins with truth. Ladies and gentlemen, we hear so much fake news. We've got to put on the belt of truth. We've got to discern yeah. what is true and what is not true. So many people out there rioting in the streets. They were rioting in southwest Atlanta last night, burning down uh, Wendy's and some other buildings. Amen. I mean, there's a time to protest, but when it comes to burning and looting, that is not of the Lord. Don't let the crowd lead you to where you're not supposed to go. Savior, like a shepherd, lead me. Some of y'all need to stay home and mind your own business. Come on, somebody. Come on, I don't care if I offend you or not. Some of y'all are just too plain nosy. You got no trouble. Amen. Curiosity Amen. killed the cat. Amen. Curiosity Amen. killed the cat. Lawrence Gaffin, we oh. learned up in Haiti years ago. Curiosity killed the cat. Oh. Right, I'm just out here to see what's going on. What, what's going on? Got somebody killed. What's going yeah. on? Got somebody run over by a car. Trying to find out what's going on. Got somebody shot. Find out what's going on. Got somebody stabbed in the back. Some of you, yeah. some of you need to stay home. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Read about it on the Facebook. Read about it on the news. Somebody will text you. In the meantime, you get down on Knee Bone Station. Be a Sam Gale in your own house. Get down on Knee Bone Station. Bind those demons that are influencing your neighbor. Bind those demons that are terrorizing the neighborhood. The Bible says, whatsoever we shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever we shall loose on, on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I'm talking to somebody. All I'm right. talking to somebody. The psalmist said, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock <clears throat> that is higher than I. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I might not always be combat ready. Satan might catch me off guard. He might send a situation that's going to blow me off my feet. But hallelujah, I know that even when he blindsides me, and some of you have been blindsided, you've been caught off guard, and it took you some time to recover. I know I can get a witness out there, Gene Bratton. I've been blindsided, been deceived. Folks messed yeah. you up. They lied yeah. to you. They told you yeah. lies. Amen. You bought the lies. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, we're hearing lies every day. We don't know what's news and what's fake news. Ladies and gentlemen, we got one who comes out of his bunker, spreads some lies on Twitter, and then goes back and hides in his bunker. He's scared, ladies and gentlemen. He's scared. You know, you can be mean to folks so long that you, you're scared of your own shadow. Amen. You just come up like the groundhog. Uh, put some more poison in the air and then go back in your hole. Well, I'm telling you, mister, you ain't always going to be able to hide in that bunker with your lying self. God's going to expose you. God's ah. going to expose these demons in Congress. God is going to expose these punks in the pulpit. God is going to have his way. Oh, I know I'm preaching yeah. today, ladies and gentlemen. I know I'm yeah. preaching. The Holy Ghost is upon me. Hallelujah. The yeah. Holy Ghost is Hallelujah. upon me. And those liars in your family, those deceivers Damn. in your family, those people Damn. in your neighborhood, those people Damn. who are trying to rob you, those people who don't mean you any good, those backstabbers. They smile in oh. your face all the time, want to take your place. The backstabbers. Uh -oh. God is going to move, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 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 Man, what got into you last night, Pastor Carter? I don't know, oh, but it feels good. It feels good. It feels good to know that God's got my back. It feels good, mm -hmm. Ryan Trogler, to know that what a mighty God we serve. We, it yes. feels good. It feels good to know that he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I'm his own. It feels good to know that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. It feels good to know that greater is he in me than he that's in the world. Now, some of you out there saying, what is he talking about? What's he talking hey, about? I don't experience this. I don't experience this. Well, you need to get saved. You need to get he's saved. Talking. You need to get ah. saved. You need to repent of your sins. You need to stop hey. that lying. Stop that deceiving. Stop that ah. conniving. 
Stop all that madness. You need to get down on knee bone station. You need to ask God to forgive you of your sins. You need to get that bitterness out of your heart. You need to stop those racist thoughts. You need to stop hating white folks. You need to stop hating black folks. You need to stop hating women. You need to stop hating gays. You need to stop hating lesbians. You need to stop all this hatred mm. and get down on knee bone station and ask God, mm. forgive me, Lord God. I have sinned against you. Forgive me. Yes. Then you need to ask yes. Jesus come into my life and save mm -hmm. me, Lord. <clears throat> and save me, Lord. And set me free. And when you ask the Lord to come in, he doesn't wait till next Easter. He's not going to wait till the coronavirus passes. When you ask him today to save you, he'll save you today. Hallelujah, God. Thank you. What wow. must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The scripture yes. says that if you will uh, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart Hallelujah. that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Yes. Well, what if I was saved Amen. and I backslid? Well, stop the backsliding right now. Stop it yes, today yes. and say, Lord, I repent. I repent. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back yes. to you, Lord. Forgive me, Father. Receive me. Mm -hmm. And God will receive you. He's not going to wait until next Easter. He's not going to wait until uh -uh. the coronavirus passes. He will receive uh -uh. you today. He will heal the backslider. He's married to the backslider. He will heal you today and deliver you when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Sometimes, Gene Bratton, I get so burdened down about others that I forget about myself. I forget about myself. Yes. I forget about Amen. myself. Sometimes, Sam Gale, you don't even have time to think about your own problems. You see somebody worse off than you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. Oh, if I can just take a little bit of time to pray for so-and-so. If I can just, just get a little time to pray for so-and-so. If I can just bind those demons influencing so-and-so and cast them out. If I can just talk to Jesus, just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Just makes it right. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right now. It's all right. Somebody said just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. David wrote that psalm when he was running through the wilderness trying to escape from King Saul who had a contract on David's life. Everywhere David turned, he saw Saul and his army out to kill David. David's heart was overwhelmed. He said, when my heart is overwhelmed, from the ends of the earth, he says, from the ends of the earth, he says, I'm going to praise you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Praise God. David also wrote, on another occasion when he fled from Saul, he had a chance to kill Saul. He had a chance to take Saul's head off. He found Saul in a cave. Saul was doing number two. Not number one, y'all. He was doing number two. He was grunting and, and trying to uh, pass his bowels, making a bowel movement. He had his pants down. David could have mm -hmm. killed him in that cave. But David said, no, I will not touch the Lord's anointed. So he cut off a piece of Saul's clothing and went up on top of a hill. And when Saul finished relieving himself and got dressed, David cried out from the top of the mountain, hey, Saul, recognize this? And it was a piece of the cloth from his clothing. Recognize this? Now, Saul, why are you running after me? Why are you chasing me? I haven't done anything to you. I haven't done anything to you, ladies and gentlemen. You leave your burdens to the Lord. He'll fight your battles. He'll make your enemy your footstool. Well, Pastor Carter, what about this coronavirus? It's on the rise again. Well, you stay in the house. You social distance yourself. <clears throat> you put on your mask. Don't be like those folks out there unmasked and, and rallying and, and going back to the restaurant and coughing in the waiter's face and the waiter coughing on you. Use some common sense, ladies and gentlemen. Use some common sense. <clears throat> Don't be like some of those religious freaks out there. Well, Jesus got me. I can go anywhere. Jesus got me. No mask. They're coughing in people's faces. People coughing in their face. Look, look, the Jesus we serve is a sensible God. He's a sensible. He's intelligent. He's intelligent. 
He's intelligent. If he says wear a mask, you put a mask on. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. Lead me to the rock that's higher than I. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. Lead me to the rock that's higher than I. David wrote in Psalm 57 when he was... When after he left that cave, he had a chance to kill Saul. He said, be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. For my soul trusteth in thee. In the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. He said, I cut Saul's garment. I've got a piece of it here in my hand. He said, Saul has not had a change in heart. I'm still on the run. And so while I'm running, and I know those demons are after me, those powers and principalities and witchcraft, and they are conspiring against me to kill me, I'm on the run. And there are times, ladies and gentlemen, when we got to get on the run. But then he says, my soul trusteth in thee. I'm in Psalm 57, 1. For my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge. I'm running. I'm hiding. But I'm going to hide under the shadow of your wings, Lord, until these calamities, these distresses, these disturbances, this coronavirus, this social distancing, this fake news, this leaders hiding in bunkers, these people protesting in the streets, these family issues, these health issues, these bills, these worries about my neighbors, worry about my nation, worry about the nations. I'm going to hide in the shadow of your wings, Lord God, until these calamities be passed by. Somebody says, see these heavy burdens? They won't last. God is going to wait, make a way, Wayne. At Turn your midnights into day. Man. Satan had me bound. I, I felt like giving up. But something deep inside of me, come on, somebody, makes me keep going on. See those heavy burdens? Hey, Jackie Carter, see those heavy burdens? They won't last. God is going to make a way. He's going to turn your midnights into day. Satan had us bound, ladies and gentlemen. We felt like giving up. Hey, Sam Gale, remember the time you felt like giving up? Hey, Jean Bratton, remember the time? Melanie, remember the time you felt like giving up? But something deep inside of you made you keep going on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then somebody, when they came out of it, and we realized God brought me out of it. He brought me out. Somebody said, I feel like going on. Mm -hmm. I feel like going on. Oh. When trials come on every hand, I feel, I feel like going on. Oh, come on, Jackie Carter. I feel like going oh, Come on, Jackie Carter. Come on, Sam Gale. I feel like going oh, When trials come on every hand, on every hand, I feel like going on. Oh, now everybody on mute your phone. Everybody on mute your phone. I feel like praising God. I feel like praising God. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I feel like praising God. Lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands. When trials come on I feel like really good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
everybody, everybody except for Ryan Trugler. If Ryan's on the highway, keep your hands on the steering wheel. Everybody lift your hands up. I feel like praising God. Hallelujah. Don't worry about what your friends will say. I feel like praising God. Oh, when trials come. Come on, Kenya. On every. Come on, Jamaica. I feel like praising God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We continue with Psalm 91. Psalm 91 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What a place to be. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. No matter what you're going through, listener, surely He will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And guess what? You can go to sleep at night. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. You don't have to be afraid of the coronavirus. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Keep wearing that mask. Keep social distancing yourself until they blow the alarm that the storm (laughs) has passed over. Somebody Mm -hmm. says, hallelujah, hallelujah. (laughs) The storm is passing over. Hallelujah. 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 The storm is passing over. It's been a long night. It's been a dark night. A lot of folks have died. A lot of people have been afflicted. It's been a long night, but the storm is passing over. Remember the slave could have been your great-great-grandfather or your great-great-grandmother or a friend of the family, Ryan. Could have been somebody related to you running from Georgia, trying to get to Pennsylvania, trying to get to Pennsylvania, and, 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 and uh, hiding in somebody's barn or hiding in a cave or hiding in a swamp or hiding in a field, and uh, uh, the morning lights are uh, coming, uh, 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 and, and having to call upon the Lord when my heart is overwhelmed. Bloodhounds on my trail, bloodhounds barking on my trail, uh, uh, people on horseback with shotguns and bull whips, uh, and, and you cry out unto the Lord, encourage my soul. I must journey on, for the night is gone, the morning light appears, the storm is passing over. Storm is passing over. Storm is passing over. Hallelujah. They made it. Somebody made it through the swamps, through the cold, through the wind, through the rain, through adversity, so that you and I can be here. And we're here today not to hate on white folks, not to hate on black folks, not to hate one another, but we are here to worship the Lord God and to love one another. Somebody paid a price for you and me to be here. You don't know what they've come through, what they went through, or the sacrifice they made. So don't you give up. Don't you quit. Don't you cross over to the dark side. Don't you start hating. Don't you start throwing rocks at police. Don't you start bombing buildings. You walk with Jesus. Walk by faith and not by sight. And if you don't know what to do, stay home. Mind your own business. Stay home. Watch it on TV and pray and pray 
The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. When is it going to pass over, Pastor Carter? I don't know, but the storm is passing over. It ain't always going to be like this, Wayne. The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. Hallelujah. Now, I know somebody going to call me later on and say, Pastor Carter, I want to give you voice lessons. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to say thank you. I'm doing the best I can with what I got. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But greater is he in us than he that's in the world. When your heart is overwhelmed, run to the rock. What rock are we talking about? Jesus Christ. He is our rock. Not Allah. Not Buddha. Not Shinto, not Hare Krishna, no, not even Donald Trump. You run to Jesus. Run to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Don't run to your local politician, your congressman, your senator. Run to Jesus. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him, there's no other. Jesus is the way. Father, God bless your people all over the world, Lord God. Stretch forth your mighty hand, I pray, and save, heal, and deliver. Bless all within the sound of my voice. Bless all right. other nations. Bless this nation. Oh, God, pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Liberate mankind. Liberate Kenya. Liberate England, liberate Israel, liberate North Korea, liberate South Korea, liberate Russia, liberate China, liberate the United States. And by liberate, we mean set them free, God. You said we shall know the truth, and the truth shall make us free. And Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other God but you, Lord God who gave your son, Jesus Christ, that we might be saved. We trust you, Lord God. We trust you. We trust you. Hide us under your wings, Lord, until these calamities be passed by. I don't know when they're going to pass by, but I do know this. They will pass by. So, Lord, mm. encourage our soul. We must journey on. The storm will pass over. Hallelujah. We give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Bless God. Bless God. Woo! Bless God. I feel the fire burning, Gene Bratton. It's like fire yeah. shut up in my bones. Fire shut up in my bones. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies, sometimes the anointing will come on you like this. Hallelujah. It will come upon you like this. Give God the glory. Give the honor. Give them the praise. Let your neighbors think you're crazy. Your family members may think you're crazy. But, but just keep on being who you are and giving God the glory. And watch and see what the Lord will do. And give him all the praise. Give him all the praise. Hallelujah. We pray that you'll have a wonderful week in the Lord. That God will take you from victory to victory. We're going to end the, the recording those of you who want to get in touch with me, you can contact me on Facebook, YouTube, our um, website, uh, email, w, uh, I'm sorry, Leroy Carter 69 at yahoo.com, or, or give me a text message, 404-205-1101. We're not asking for your money. We're asking for your prayers. We're asking that you love one another. We're asking that you love the Lord. That's what we're asking. You love the Love the Lord. Please love the Lord with all your heart and soul and mind and strength.